Black Klansman, it's a heck of a movie, and it's different, and we're going to talk about it. Welcome to Car Review, and this will be a non-spoilers talk of Black Klansman, the newest film by Spike Lee. And as I said, this movie is different in the fact that it's just... It's so much in one package, and it's so much in one movie, and in one condensed setting of just two hours, maybe a little over two. Um, this movie, on its surface, can look like... I, I mean, I hate to say this, but I, I think you, you could even look at this as kind of like a, a historical comedy, if that makes any sense at all just because from the trailers and the promotion it seemed like they were definitely trying to tell a, a, a story worth telling and a story that needs to be shared and you know but you know you, you kind of got moments of that a, a little light hearted tone underneath this heavy hitting subject and you definitely get that in the in the film and in the trailers certainly but that's only the undertone. I mean, there is so much going on. It's almost hard to, to talk about this movie without, like, not only going into spoilers, but, like, I feel like for those of you who will watch this and have not seen the movie yet, it's going to be a little hard for you to grasp fully what I'm trying to say. So I'll do my best. Um, but Black Klansman is... I mean, it's, it's enjoyable history is probably the best place to start because I feel like a lot of the times movies that tell either stories of our past that center around, you know, the race wars and, and, and things like that and of that subject matter or even just stuff that, or even films that just tell stuff of the past that we know is, is hard hitting, I feel like they can almost be too dramatized. Um, to where they just, they just, you know, give history, history to you as straight as it, as it is from the books. And, and sometimes it needs to be depending on how you want to present, um, your, your subject, your story. With, with Black Klansmen though, they, they make, they, they tell it historically, but they also make it enjoyable because there are moments of, of comedy, of lightheartedness, of camaraderie. Of, of tension, but never too much tension. It's never overbearing. It's never overstepping. It is, it is enjoyable. It is, at times, downright fun. But then, when you get past those moments and you see what's the underlying bedrock of this movie, it's a lot to take in, and it's a hard pill to swallow. Um, when I first heard of the story that Black Klansman centers around, where and a, a police officer, the first police officer in Colorado, goes undercover to infiltrate the, the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK. I thought that was, I honestly thought that was a fiction idea because I never thought that'd be possible. I didn't think that was possible. It was something I never had heard of. Even in history class, that was something I was never told about. And then I, then I read up on it and I realized that no, this is legit. That they actually did this. And, and it was just, it was, it was. It would have been enjoyable for me in the sense having this been a purely hard-hitting educational type movie, but this was also a again enjoyable movie. It, it was a movie. It wasn't a a straight history lesson. It was. It was at its core a film that that taught you things while also providing two hours of of a good time. I mean, it, I had a good time watching this movie because there are some things in it that will make you just want to throw up and there are other things that will make you be like, like this is why we go to movies. You know, this is this is the type of experience you think that we should have every time we go because like, I'm going to be, it's really cool there. I'm going to be totally honest, like, like, I mean, it, 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 you need you need a stomach to watch this movie because it, it, you know it's not it's not you know overly bloody. In fact, I don't think there's really any blood in this movie at all. It's not overly violent. You know, there, there's something like that. But it's just the sheer honesty and brutality and the. I mean, it is. I I didn't know anything about the story, and, and I learned so much about our past as a as a society as a as people. As, a, as America, I just, they, I didn't know how, how ruthless the KKK could be. I, I thought I knew, I thought I had learned enough, but just everything from the, 
I just... I can't believe some of the atrocities we've committed in our past. It, it absolutely blows my mind that that even took place. And that was all before my time. And I know racism has existed all throughout the span of time. And it still exists today here in 2018 and onward as well as well. But, I mean, back then it was so prevalent. And, I mean, it was, it's just horrendous. But then you go past that and then you get then you, you know you are rooting for these characters because they do such a great job of making the KKK a villain okay um, John David Washington is, is the main the main guy he plays the African American cop that goes undercover he did a phenomenal job in the role and so did Adam Driver okay I think Adam Driver should downright be nominated for an Academy Award um Best supporting actor, best lead actor, one of the two, because you can, you can differ that in all you will. But, but like, he did such a great job of acting as a person who's supposed to act. You know, he acted acting, if that makes sense. But like, there's so much to this. Like, there's there's tension, but there's it's not like pulse pounding. You know, like not like a horror film. It's just like you're just watching this, and you're like, you have to stop and think every now and then while you're watching the movie. We're like. Holy crap, this happened. You know, it, it's it's hard to just fathom. Like, I mean like this is a this is a minor, minor spoiler. I know I said no spoiler, but I just this is something I just really wanted to touch on on Thursday, by the way. Yeah. Um. 
very beginning and the very ending are just there. They, they, they really show just the two sides of the movie that I'm talking about. Hard pill, glass of water. You know, they, they, they really they really show that in the beginning and, and the ending of the movie. Just, and I mean, those, those parts took my breath away. There were lots of parts that took my breath away just because I was like, oh my gosh, man, that is just so vicious and mean and, and hate-driven. I mean, it is... You need a stomach to see this movie because it is, again, it's not... Not necessarily violent, it's just evil. Evil at its core. And having seen this movie now, I feel educated. I and, and I mean that's that's huge. And education is one of the greatest things you could ever achieve in this life, and this movie managed to do something that I thought I knew enough of. Wow. Give this film an honorary medal. And some people might have already seen it and they were like, eh. It's okay. For me, though, I think this is phenomenal. I think you should go see it. Yeah, I mean, and again, without overstepping or without, you know, just keep on retreading what I've said before, I'm just probably going to stop it right there because, like, it's, it is something. It's a film worth seeing just because it's, it's, at the, it's important. <laughs> this one is hard to talk about, like... Forgive me, but just go see Black Klansman and then, you know, you know, let's talk about it in the comments or, you know, tweet me or something. You know, just let's go see it, talk to people about it, and, and, you know, just see what they have to say. Which, by the way, I did. I actually, I did talk to somebody after the movie ended, and we both agreed that it is a, it was enjoyable history. Whereas, you know, history can be like, oh gosh, I gotta read this stuff. A slog fest. No, this was this was a good time. So yeah, uh, Black Klansman is a film you should see. Um, you almost just need to see it to fully understand what people are trying to talk about. Maybe somebody else can do a better job of explaining it than I can. There are better reviewers out there, so I encourage you to go find a review that helps you. But if you like this review, and I have to do it like segue. If you like this review, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff, and see Black Klansman in a theater near you.